All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And Brush. And today we are going to be watching The Social Network. Um, so we're it's nighttime again. We got our, our crazy horror, you know, lighting because Zuckerberg is a lizard and he's really scary. True. Uh, <laughs> they keep coming up with reasons. Um, so this movie is a David Fincher movie. Um, I saw it a while back. I was not as good. I, I hadn't watched as many movies, obviously, so I'm very excited. It's one of those movies where it's so well made that it's like you can keep going back into it. Mm. It is, to my understanding, pretty darn accurate about actually Facebook. So, like, a lot of the stuff in this, I'm almost, uh, like, 99% is accurate, to okay. my understanding. So it's, like, a very accurate movie. I mean, I heard that it was, like, most people agreed in Hollywood that it is, you know, it's over dramatized or whatever of because course, but like the event movie yeah the event i guess that's what i mean right so of course there's going to be drama for for hollywood's sake but yeah. i mean like the events to my understanding and i may be wrong correct me in the comments is is all the like big points yeah no, all no, no, the yeah. outlines of what actually happened um it's got michael's no i'm kidding it doesn't have michael sarah i know if you guys hated me in the comments for zombie land it has jesse eisenberg who was in zombie land as mark zuckerberg who it's like kind of freaky how like great he is. Um, it's got Andrew Garfield, who you haven't seen yet, but he plays a Spider Man that we are gonna watch at some point. Okay, he's I a really good actor. Name. He he's kind of classic. Okay, um, and it's just a really good movie. Dave Fincher's a great director, so yeah, I'm very excited. You haven't seen this movie. I saw this movie. It's been a bit though. I'm kind of excited to break it down with you. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us here on our classic movie watch. Um, as always, the full length reactions are gonna be up on our Patreon as well as next week's reactions. Um, whatever movie you guys vote for, this movie here. That is also going to be up on our Patreon. And yeah, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. And let's just get into the social network. Now, do you like, know anything about like Facebook and how it got started? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I remember like uh, Zuckerberg like, started it in, uh, was it, where do you go? Harp? I mean, honestly, yeah, like, I was just curious. Or something. Yeah. It was like some other website, right? You know, from a woman's perspective, sometimes not seeing it in that public group is a good thing. This is serious. <laughs> <laughs> from anyone's perspective. Have you ever tried? I'm trying right now. To recruit? To get into a final quote. To recruit? No, are you like, what are you, delusional? Sometimes you say two things at once. You say like 20 things. But a second ago, you said you liked guys who were cool, so I assumed you had one. I guess I just meant I like the idea of it, you know, the way a girl likes cowboys. <laughs> we all like cowboys. <laughs> My friend Eduardo made three hundred thousand dollars betting oil futures one summer. You made three hundred thousand dollars in the summer. He likes meteorology. Yeah, it was but oil futures. You can read the weather and can predict the price of heating oil. I think you asked me that. <laughs> is this writing insane? You asked me which one was easy. <laughs> I was honestly just asking. Okay, I was just asking to ask. <laughs> Mark, you have final school of the OCD, and you need to see someone about it. We we'll prescribe you some sort of medication. You don't care if the side effects may include blindness. <laughs> Final close. Oh my gosh, bro. There's a difference between being obsessed and being motivated. It's a fine line. Teddy Roosevelt didn't get elected president because he was a member of the Phoenix. He's a member of the Porcelian, and yes, he did. <laughs> I think you might want to be a little more supportive. If I get in, I will be taking you to the events and the gatherings, and you'll be meeting a lot of people. That's kind of presumptuous. The reason we're able to sit here and drink right now is because he used to sleep with the door guy. Bro. Wait. Is this real? Yes. Okay, then wait, I apologize. Dude. Let's just talk. I can't. Why? Because it's exhausting. <laughs> dating you is like dating a Stairmaster. All I meant is that you're not likely to. Okay. I have to go study. You don't have to study. Why do you keep saying I don't have to study? you go to be you. Bro. I think we should just be friends. I don't want friends. I was just being polite. I have no intention of being <laughs> friends. You are probably going to be a very successful computer person. <laughs> You're gonna go through life thinking that girls don't like you because you're a nerd. It'll be because you're an asshole. Another reason. Yeah. <laughs> that was Wasn't that such a great opening? That was a very clean scene, dude. And, and I mean, like, once again, bring it into the, the almost positive writers, writers, directors club again. It's like, of course, the writing is insane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I don't know if, if Jesse Eisenberg is actually like Mark Zuckerberg, but. <laughs> It feels like he's like Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great opening. It's like the old traditional credits. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. This is written by Aaron Sorkin. No wonder. Aaron Sorkin is like notoriously quippy, snappy, like like all of his movies and all of his dialogue. He's like that. Okay. 
Yeah, Harvard. Yeah. And I like that just even in that opening, you get a feeling of like all these incredibly productive, like, like college. I don't know. It just yeah. gives you a vibe. Cinematography is amazing. She's a 34B. I seen barely anything there. False advertising. Jeez, man. The truth is, she has a nice face. Dang. Yeah, I mean, he's. he's I mean, yeah, yeah, it he got is, to him, right? And yeah. I like that. It's like he may be inhuman and he may be an asshole, but it still gets to him. Betty Harper doesn't keep a public centralized Facebook, so I'm going to have to get all the images from the individual houses that people are in. Let the hacking begin. <laughs> Uh, you tell just by the way he speaks, right? Like how he kind of thinks. Yes, yes, and I like that. They're also open, but with no indexes on Apache. I can run an empty search and it returns all the images in the database in a single. And I just like the way he talks about it. It he feels familiar. Oh, like, yeah. it's like he feels like an expert. I don't know anything he's saying about the code, but I get the feeling that he's an expert. Quincy has no online Facebook. What a shame. Slowly building. There's no way I'm gonna go 500 pages to download pics one at a time, so it's definitely necessary to break out Emacs and modify that full script. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, he's going off. I like the time, just like subtle details, like 208. It was like 813. I know. This is Andrew Garfield. You're not gonna split up. Are you alright? I need you. Careful. No, I need the algorithm used to run chess players. <laughs> Are you We're ranking girls. You mean other students? Yeah. yeah. I need the algorithm. I need the algorithm. Keep each girl a base rate of <laughs> Dude, it reminds me of like a beautiful mind where it's like these just like crazy hyper geniuses. Uh -huh. We're gonna send it to uh, just a couple of people. The question is, huh. who are they gonna send it to? Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, but it's. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna be good, bro. Well, something like that in a college atmosphere. Like, as horrible as it is to say, that thing is gonna spread like wild. Oh, yeah. Like, sure. uh, dude. Run it up. Left is hot. Run it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run it up. No. That's my roommate. Oh, oh, no. No. This poor, this poor girl. Like, I actually feel so bad for this girl. Yeah, I mean, she didn't do she definitely jack, didn't do anything. man. And it's like... It's an awful lot of traffic. Yeah, this thing is blowing up. Hello? This is the principal or something? Somebody. Uh-oh. <laughs> but that's also insane if they just crashed the Harvard... You did spend an awful lot of time embarrassing Mr. Zuckerberg with the girl's testimony from the bar. I'm not embarrassed, you just made a lot of that up. She was under oath. I guess yeah, dude. First time somebody's lied under oath. <laughs> Fair, but still. So I've got twenty two hundred hits within two hours. Thousand. What? Twenty two thousand. Dang. I mean, that's when you know you kind of have something special, you know? Yeah, and I mean, I feel like you know now we're so familiar with the idea of like going crazy viral, but I feel like early days of YouTube, like stuff like that, like when something went viral, like it, it was unreal. No, yeah. I mean, because, heck, not even a lot of people were on it completely, no. right? Yeah. Oh, you set up a website. It's the same you actor. The of <laughs> you set up a full website one night you did it while you was drunk. 22,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're talking big numbers. Cameron Winklevoss. W-I-N-K-L-E-V-O-S. Uh, it's... Tyler spelled the usual way, and my last name is the same as my brother's. <laughs> I like this out-of-order storytelling. Yeah. You're also charged with being in violation of university policy on distribution of digitized images. So this is the university. I believe I deserve some recognition from this board. I don't understand. I believe I pointed out some pretty gaping holes in your system. <laughs> He's such a prick. If you had known what you were looking for, you would have seen it written on my dorm room window. Literally. I shouldn't have heard nothing about the farm animals. That was stupid. But I was kidding, for God's sakes. Doesn't anybody have a sympathy? Come on, man. How do you do this thing where you manage to get all girls to hand? Maybe you want DMA on your 16-bit system. Who knows? The first two pages are reserved for hardware flags, etc. The eight status bits would then be... Anybody? Don't worry, Mr. Zuckerberg. Brighter men than you have tried and failed this class. One valid bit, one modified bit. One reference bit, five permission bits. That is correct. I feel like that's such a great scene. Because it's like, even in this, where it's like he's getting, like, bullied, or however you want to put it, it's like he, he still has to be right. Yeah. Camera Winklevoss. 
It's out of the gloves. So what can I do for you? Can I insult your girlfriends? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we talk about the hat that you're wearing, though? You look so. Yeah, I've got a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such good writing. You guys saw me in high school, too, right? Uh, I'm for an MP3 player that recognizes your taste in music. <laughs> Maybe try to buy it. Microsoft. You know. We have something that we've been working on for a while, and we think it's great. It's called the Harvard Connection. You create your own page, interest, <laughs> bio, friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you're, start, you're starting to see where this is going. Yep. This could help rehabilitate your image. Wow. You would do that for me. Well, I mean, yeah, they clearly if you make one. Yeah. Yeah. They're not even hiding it. Yeah. I'm in. Awesome. I, I'm so fascinated by the idea that, like, he's this crazy, hyperactive, uh, you know, successful person, but it's like he still wants to be, like, with the cool kids. Mm -hmm. Like, like anybody. It was Caribbean night. <laughs> I do like how they're cutting in between yeah. the, uh, you know, the events of the future. It's a so. really interesting way so that it's, it, I, they almost cut to the chase. Like, they're like, oh, we're not going to pretend their stuff doesn't go down. It does go down. Yeah. It, it almost turns it into a tragedy. Uh-huh. Algorithm to define the connection between Jewish guys actually. <laughs> what? I just got to say, Eduardo is rocking that hat. <laughs> I can't stare at that dude with my eyes before which has absolutely nothing to do with the current. <laughs> they saw pictures of girls that they knew. Yes. Yeah. People want to go on the internet. And check that's out true. Things. Even thinking about that not existing, that's got to be a fascinating concept. There was nothing to hack. People were going to provide their own pictures, their own information. And people had the ability to invite or not invite their friends to join. Yeah, so it's totally legal. It's just a genius idea. So I wondered why he was coming to me and not his roommates, Dustin Moskowitz and Chris Hughes. They were programmers. We're going to need a little startup mm -hmm. cash to rent the server. <laughs> yeah, I need the money to fund it, yep. Yep. It probably was a diversity thing, but so what? Why do you think he said that? Because he's a prick. You know that money isn't a big part of my life, but at the moment I could buy Mount Auburn Street, take the Phoenix Club, and turn it into my ping pong room. Yeah, why? <laughs> and you, I feel like you would if it... Yeah, I don't know. It's really interesting storytelling. It shouldn't take too long to implement, so we can talk about it after I get all the basic functionality up tomorrow night. I know, I don't know this. I wonder if these, like, are these emails real? No, I mean, no. somebody in the comments, of course, but... This week has been pretty busy thus far with classes and work, so I think it's probably <laughs> best to postpone the meeting. I mean, because it took a while to settle this case, didn't it? Yeah. So I don't know when this movie came out, but it's 2010. Like... I love the music. Isn't the it's it's such this like throbbing, uh, like subtle music. It's so well done. It feels very like cyber, like yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. something like that, like virtual. Yeah, and it just adds this like undertone of tension without being like obnoxious or dramatic. No, I'm in the second cup. That's good. You should be proud of that right there. Don't worry if you don't make any further. It sucks because I feel like Eduardo's actually such a good friend to him, even though he is like kind of constantly pushing him off. I won't really be free to meet until next Wednesday afternoon. I have to cancel Wednesday afternoon. I've basically been in the lab this whole time. What are the three lines? Mr. Jab. Three lines. I love how the Harvard frat boy has like a full suit and then just the backwards hat. Mr. Zuckerberg registered the domain name <laughs> to Facebook via Network Solutions. Yep. Uh, hey, Cameron, I'm still a little skeptical that we have enough functionality on the site to really draw the attention and gain the critical mass necessary to get a site like this to run. Yeah, that's so messed up, dude. He, like, straight up led them on for however many, what, 30 days, 40 days? He stole our whole goddamn idea. Fellas. Hatch.com for Harvard. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. I can't wait to stand over your shoulder and what you write as a check. No shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like dying over the writing of this thing. There is a girl in your art history class. Your name is Stephanie Mass. Do you happen to know she has a boyfriend? Have you ever seen her with anyone? Do you want to check her Facebook? Yeah. I'm gonna walk around with a sign on that that says on. <laughs> Got a little <laughs> light bulb. <laughs> the 
shoes in the snow, man. Yeah, clearly not. Shit, that looks good. That looks really good. Clean and simple. Relationship status. This is what drives life in college. It's what drives life in life. life. <laughs> People still care about that. Get your laptop out. What do you mean by laptop? Because it's in it it connected. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, Shit. I'm not sure if it's gonna be cool to either spam their this is not spam. Yeah, it might be worth the risk. I haven't gotten in yet. Yeah. These guys know people, and I need their emails. Sure. Good. Yeah. Cause he's right. If you just did it, it wouldn't go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, but still, and it's honestly just the, it's just the overall feel of it, right? He's he's, you know, it's just like you're. He's using um. He is. Him. He is. But it is a little complex because I think he put like his name on the masthead because he did know what it's gonna mean to his father. And he knows that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, still, it doesn't matter about all that. That's true. Uh, I don't know if anybody that we know goes to like any of these like big school or like actually Harvard, I but mean, like, let me know if that's accurate. Seven different people spamming the same link. Can you see it? What is it? I don't know, but I'm really hoping it's cats that look like Hitler, because I can never get enough of that. <laughs> I miss the internet like that. <laughs> Oh no. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What? What is wrong? Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, dude, he freaking yeah, stole their idea. Well, actually, I don't know actually if he stole their idea, but he actually, I think worse is that he led them on. Right? He clearly was working on a competitive project and led them on. Zuckerberg stole our website. It's been live for more than 36 hours. Facebook is an online directory that connects people through different social networks. You must have a harvard.edu address uh, to register. Okay, that, that is more than the idea. I was just reading that 650 students signed up for it on the first day. God, if I was a drug dealer, I couldn't give free drugs to 650 <laughs> people one day. It's true. This guy doesn't have three friends to rub together. Yeah, he doesn't know anyone either. He's gonna look at all this, and if he thinks it's appropriate, he'll send a cease and desist letter. Yeah. I want to hire the Sopranos to beat the shit out of him with a hammer. We don't have to do that. That's right. We can do that ourselves. I'm 6'5", 220, there's two of me. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> we exchanged 52 emails, we can prove that he looked at the code. I mean, they're actually dealing with this in a really balanced way. Yeah. Which is, it's cool, it feels real. He hoped the privacy options would help restore his reputation following student outrage over Facebook.com. <laughs> it's exactly what we said to him. Now, while we're waiting for Dad's lawyer to look this stuff over, we can at least get something going in the paper no. so people know what? That this is in dispute. Because no, then you're going to look pathetic if you do anything. This is Harvard, where you don't plant stories, and you don't sue people. You, you thought he was going to be the only one who thought that was stupid? I mean, I respect that, but... Yeah. I'm wondering why, if you needed a thousand dollars for an internet venture, you didn't ask my clients for it. I went to my friend for the money because that's why I wanted to be partners with him. I also think he was pissed at them. Your best friend is suing you for six hundred million dollars. <laughs> I didn't know that. Tell me more. And Mark was the biggest thing on campus, it included nineteen Nobel laureates, fifteen Pulitzer Prize winners. Dang. Future Olympians and movie star. Oh, who's the movie star? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got this like really personal, like chip on his shoulder sort of like uh, complex. Uh huh. See, I, I would already forget the name. <laughs> Christy, dang it! <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah, but I would be so like, dude, they just said Facebook to me. Like, that's insane. No. I can swear he was looking at you when he said the next Bill Gates could be right in this room. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, I showed up late. I don't even know who the speaker was. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you said. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but it's like this, like they want to impress him. They want to. It's cool. Well, yeah, because now that he's, you know, I mean, starting to become a thing, right? Yes. He got himself a beer, even though he got him a beer. This one will be finished. It won't be finished. That's the point. The way fashion's never finished. What? Fashion. Fashion is never finished. Yeah, if you get a social trend. 
Mark, what is this? What? This. It's called a cease and desist letter. What were their names? Who? The girls? They find it to be intellectual property. Yeah, that... you gotta at least tell him. He's your partner. They must feel they have some grounds. The lawyer is their father's house counsel. Do they have grounds? The grounds are our thing is cool and popular and Harvard Connection is lame. Yeah, but he's so... Mm, it's not true. Yeah, but he's so, like... Just because you didn't use any of their code. No, but he has such an ego, right? Yes. And he brushes things off. That shouldn't be brushed off. He's not taking into account other people's feelings. The fact that this guy invested all his money on yes. you. Well, not... Not like all of it, oh, but like but. he invested, I meant all of the money. Yes. For you. This was the first time you raised any of those concerns, right? I'd raised concerns before. Bullshit. Yeah. Were you leading them on for six weeks? No. Nope. Then why didn't you raise any of these concerns yes. before? Do you think I deserve your full attention? I had to swear no before he began his deposition and I don't want to perjure myself. So I have a legal obligation to say no. <laughs> so well done. My colleagues and I are doing things that no one in this room, including and especially your clients, are intellectually or creatively capable of doing. <laughs> See, he's... He has a sharp tongue, but he's so insecure. But, I mean, he's insecure, and he also... <laughs> well... <laughs> They're starting to become the cool kids. Yeah, there's, there's... <laughs> Which makes you blind, right? It makes you blind to the ethics of it. It makes you blind to... Uh... Well, the interesting thing is that here they're portraying um, Zuckerberg as like... That is his... It's almost like his main motivation, yeah. right? I don't know if you heard about this new website I launched. No. On Facebook? You called me a bitch on the internet. If we could just go somewhere for a minute. I don't want to be rude to my friends. <laughs> that was the right thing to do. You apologize, right? No, of course not. We have to expand. He's. That's what the motivating factor is. Okay, we are expanding to Yale and Columbia. Dustin, I want you to share the coding work with me. Tell them that Mark Zuckerberg will do ten hours of free programming. Why do you want a story to be a newspaper? Because I do. <laughs> he just wants to. to... Now, I have no idea how accurate this is, and we'll just look at it story-wise, yeah, right? Like, yeah, I, I feel bad being like, Mark Zuckerberg is a pr I mean, he might be. I'm sure there's some proof for that, but... Yeah, I don't... I'm talking about movie Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, movie Mark Zuckerberg. He's a total prick. <laughs> Definitely is doing this because she, re like, rejected of him. Of course, right? And that's just and been his motivating factor the whole movie. Yeah, he's still, like, it's not enough, right? Yes. It's weird, because, like, that... You can tell that really affected him it's almost like he's trying to show her that it doesn't you know and he's yeah. like no i don't need you but it's like no it's it, the opposite clearly. and he, it's so petty for somebody so like achieving mm -hmm. well i mean yeah it's like i'm gonna create another you know school branch of yeah. this website just to show you you must really hate the winkle bosses i don't hate anybody the winkle vi aren't suing me <laughs> because for the first time in their lives Things didn't work out the way they were supposed to for them. Yeah, eh, that's part of it. I mean, but he compartmentalizes his, of like, course. these things that are way more complicated, right? Yes. If you're not thinking how it's going to look. How is it going to look? It's going to look like... My brother and I are in skeleton costumes chasing the karate kid around a high school gym. See, you get the reference now. <laughs> Harvard Student Handbook. Somewhere in this book it says you can't steal from another student. Oh, that's actually super smart. You don't know my name, do you? Is it Stanford? I should just kick your ass. <laughs> and you meet I'm Phil Ritter, but you prefer Amy. You're from Orinda. Your father's in commercial real estate. Well, this movie was realistic until that happened. <laughs> mm, French. Mm -hmm. That's French. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> oh, what? I'm an entrepreneur. You're unemployed. <laughs> I founded Napster. <laughs> Sean Parker founded Napster. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're Sean Parker? The shoe's on the other, uh, foot? table, which is turned. <laughs> what are you? I'm broke. There's not a lot of money in free music. Yeah, he's famous. There's a snake in here, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> After you passed out last night, I went on the Facebook for a little bit. What's that? The Facebook? It's really awesome, except it's freakishly addictive. Mind if I send myself an email? <laughs> Everything's great. <laughs> and you're getting in the big leagues. 
Well, darkness is the absence of light, and the stupidity of that instance was the absence of me. <laughs> oh, dang. We came up with an idea for a website called Harvard Connection. We since changed the name to Connect You. Oh, yeah, Connect You. That's right. I remember that. Is that a thing? I didn't, I didn't even know that was a thing. In the Harvard Student Handbook, which is distributed to each freshman, it says the college expects all students to be honest and forthcoming in their dealings with members in this That's community. super vague. Theft, misappropriation, and, yes, sir, punch me in the face. <laughs> and the closest I've come to dealing with him face to face is when I saw him on the quad and chased him through Harvard Square. And chased him? <laughs> I don't see this as a university issue. Of course this is a university issue. It's not really. The code of ethics with the university, not with each other. Yeah. Just start another project. If you like, like, we're making a diorama for a science fair. Problem with that, Mr. Weeble <laughs> never yes. asked for special. The courts are always at your disposal. Isn't just the writing of this movie incredible? Mm -hmm. Like, like it's just a conversation. It's so well done. It tells you everything about their characters. The purpose of a business is to make a profit. It isn't a business yet. So that's that's tough for me. It's my job. Never mind. His job literally is the business. Yeah. He founded Napster when he was nineteen. To be late. He's not a god. Well, what is he? He's 25 minutes late. <laughs> he struck me as kind of a, a wild card. Well, why? He crashed out of two pretty big internet companies in spectacular fashion. Yeah, like he still is kind of that entrepreneur. Like, of course, yeah. he created successful stuff, but he is broke. It's like that. that is that crazy. Yeah. Miss. Uh -oh. Sean Parker. What do you do? He wants to be Eduardo and Christy and Mark. Reason point on, it was a Sean a thon. <laughs> That's like he did. He just takes control of the whole situation. Uh huh. I I'm not a psychiatrist, but a psychiatrist would say that he was paranoid. <laughs> they hire private detectives who follow you day and night. <laughs> I can't prove it, but I know they tap my phones. Whatever it is that's gonna trip you up, you've done already. Yeah, you don't need a psychiatrist to prove that. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You. <laughs> a billion dollars. You ever walk into a guy's den and see a picture of him standing next to 14 trout? No, he's holding a 3,000 pound mullet. Yep, that's a good analogy. Okay. I don't think the guy's holding a mullet the size of a rainbow, but that would be a really <laughs> big fish and a very strong guy. Well, like he does, it's like, come to the real world. Like, it's great to fantasize about this, but there is a real world element. Drop the the. Just Facebook. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you were accused of animal cruelty. This is this is not happening. I have your article from the Crimson. Mm -hmm. I'd gotten into the Phoenix, and as part of my initiation, I had to, for one week, carry with me at all times and take care of a chicken. I'm not the expert, but being connected to torturing animals is probably bad for business. Ah, <sighs> my gosh. I had to have the chicken with me at all times. And the dining hall was serving chicken for dinner, so I, and I had to feed my chicken, so I... <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I forgot about it. I was being accused of forced cannibalism. I didn't know you couldn't do that. And it's not even actually torture, right? That's that's total BS. Like, obviously it's a problem, but like, it's not like the chicken I, died when he was carrying it around or something. Listen, dude, <laughs> animals eat each other all the time, and he wasn't forced, like... We need advertisers, and I have connections to VCs. They're real players. Yeah. And as someone who's just really embarrassed the company in a bad way... It was the Winklevosses, Mark. Hang on. It's, it's like they're never on the same team, right? It's like the, he's always yeah. working against him. But that's the type of person yeah. that Mark is. Which is why he's successful. What's he talking about? I'm interviewing interns at 10 tomorrow night in the CS lab. <laughs> it's a heck of an interview process. <laughs> Every tenth line of code written, they have to drink a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gone. What is this? I opened a new account, put eighteen thousand dollars in. Welcome to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but even the fact that he immediately left him right after he gave him the eighteen thousand dollars and didn't yeah. even say anything, right? Yeah. It's just these subtle writing character moments. It's, it's. But mostly, I figured. How much could possibly go wrong in three months? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ho, ho. Sean Mark. We were right across the street. We saw the chimney. Now, I don't know about you, and I actually don't even remember, but I don't believe he just was like, oh, across the street. Sure. I'm so sorry. Okay. I didn't know you were gonna. Go. No, 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 wait. Oh! I'm Sean Parker. Oh, he's wired in. They, they're both of the same mindset, kind of. Of right? course. And I do really think he's like, I don't, I, he doesn't have a lot to offer. 
And so it's like, well, if I can come in here and be managerial or give you advice or whatever and get in on this project without honestly being able to bring any skills to the table. I mean, the only thing, I don't know what he can bring, right? They're saying any sort of like... Well, it seems like he can bring as much as Eduardo without the money. So he's yeah. using Eduardo's money and then using this guy's connections. I mean, the biggest thing is like he he lacks the money, which to me is like a huge thing. Like yes. if he had money, I'd be like, okay, I get it. But like... I mean, he might have some connections or whatever, but, like, still, I just feel that, I feel that, like, because, because Mark can, at least movie Mark can see that he's similar yeah. to him, it's almost like he wants, like, that, he likes that person, yeah. right? And he ha- wants friends, almost, or something, right? Mm-hmm. About Victoria's Secret? <laughs> Yeah, they they are similar minded, yeah. like in that kind of petty, which which the, in the bad ways almost. It's like that, like sort of like petty. Yeah. Like I want to show you how much I've done, and it's like Eduardo always challenged him to not be that. Dang, they're catching up. Or not? They're gonna make no. it. No, doesn't look like it. Well, and it's probably it's so close. It's probably because, you know, stuff's on their mind, right? Yeah. No other filmmaker would show that race. And it's perfect. I mean, it shows, like, it, without I mean, saying a word. His Royal Highness Prince Albert. Uh, what? I was wrong to Oh, I just wanted you to tell me a couple more times how close the race was. <laughs> you guys are prince of a country the size of the Antarctic lives. <laughs> I just had a friend shout at my daughter. She told me that she and her friends were already talking about the race, which they'd just seen by their conductors. Oh, <laughs> I'll just rub it in their face. My daughter doesn't go to school in the States. No, no, Cambridge, Facebook, Cambridge. And apparently Oxford and the London School of Economics. That's where the friends are. It's like, that's all the biggest schools, basically, yeah. in the world. Oh, I mean, not the world, but like, those are the huge schools. Yeah, those are the really big ones. Let's take the considerable resources at our disposal and sue him in federal court. Come on. At this point, I do get where they're coming from. No, yeah. Like, but sue him. Got the freaking nerve. <laughs> the test surged immediately and relentlessly. Hmm. Freaking. Ah. Uh... Wait an hour for you at the airport. What time is it? Midnight or 3 a.m. in New York, where I just came from. We gotta see some bigger stuff. Bro, uh, it's like, and it's his money. It's yeah. all his money. He just runs a two billion dollar hedge fund. It's like this guy's freaking humble bragging over here. Yeah. Uh, long hit. Oh, it's 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 like he's like the popular guy at school, and it's like that's great, but like, yeah, but it doesn't. It's not even. It's it's worse because. First off, it's so toxic. Like, yes. Everything's so toxic. Not to mention, you used his money. Yes. And if you consider him anything of a friend at all, right, even deep within yourself, you would immediately get rid of that guy. Yeah. Immediately. Right? The fact that he doesn't, doesn't matter how much money he makes, just shows the lack of, like, you know, humanity. Yeah. Presenting himself as part of this company. You gotta move out here and murder. This is where it's all happening. Do you hear what I just said? The connections, the energy. What's all happening? Yeah, it's just what BS. is happening. It's just theater, right? It's like, oh, we're talking about billion dollar companies at a club. It's like. I'm in New York riding subways 14 hours a day trying to fuck out the How's it going so far? Really? Yeah, I mean, he's just so, like. It's horrible. You know, this is what they filmed Tower Inferno? That's comforting. He's wearing glasses now? Start you off with a $500,000 investment. Maurice is going to talk to you about some corporate restructuring. Let me ask you something. Who's in water Sabron? Yeah, I mean, it, all they needed is that money, and then now they're there. When did you get back? You scared me. I need you to knock. When did you get back? Great, dude. Did you know I sent 47 texts? I did. I, I thought that was incredibly moral behavior. <laughs> Your phone does work. Oh my gosh. Oh, open your present. This is so scarf. 
Have you ever seen me wear a scarf? <laughs> this will be a post. <laughs> this poor guy. Do you realize that your actions could have permanently destroyed everything I've been working on? We have been working on. Without money, the site can't function. Oh, so all of a sudden he's paying attention now. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Word up. Ah! <laughs> Going back there already? Uh, Dustin Moskowitz owns 6.81%. Sean Parker, 6.47%. I mean, I don't think he should own anything, but... I mean, he got them like. But I mean, he, look, it's reasonable. He got them what they needed, kind yeah. of. But like, still, the fact, the way that it ended up is literally because of the relationships being how they are. You yeah. Know? You signed these documents. Were you aware that you were signing your own death certificate? No. <sighs> in, in, in all honesty, I thought they were my lawyers. It's just it's that. Really friend. Yeah, it's that they're 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 predators. Yes. Right. Do you remember? Yeah. Remember the algorithm? On the window of curtain? <laughs> and that was his algorithm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know whether to dress for the party or for the business meeting, so I kind of dressed for both. What were you called out there for? An ambush. This is Adam. Hey. <sighs> oh, no. As you know, we've had some new investors that have come What in. is this? <laughs> so well made. Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. <laughs> oh, so your shares diluted. How much were his? <laughs> what was Mr. Moskovitz's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. <laughs> this literally gets me every time. And what was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. What do you mean? He made a bad business. You got set up by his friend. And I'll bet what you hated the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook, <laughs> which I am. You better lawyer up, asshole. Here's your nineteen thousand dollars. I wouldn't cash it though. I drew it on the account and froze. Hmm. I like sitting next to you, Sean. It makes me look so tough. <laughs> Really, dude? Listen, I'm putting you Sean. He didn't have to be that rough on him. He almost killed it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's horrible. Yeah. I mean, and there's a lot. It's hard with these. Like, as we get into more serious movies, it's really hard to, like, talk as much during the movie, frankly. No. I feel like there's a lot more to talk about at the end, but. Yeah. I mean, because you just, I just kind of want to take it all in, you know? Yeah. I think it's really interesting. They keep setting up this, like, thing with girls. Like, like I don't know if that's real or not. I feel like it is, kind of. Or at least rumor-wise. What do you mean? That he did it because he of... No, but, like, he keeps... Uh, for Sean Parker. Oh, Sean. He keeps, like, clicking up with these people and, like, asking the ages. Just, like, some sketchy oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I thought he... I thought... Well, did he do something like drugs or something? I thought there was something I, like I, that. That's what they mentioned earlier. Because he was the president or whatever, and I thought... I couldn't remember exactly what happened. I don't actually... I didn't know. I'd never heard of him until I watched this. What happened to the music? We lived on farms, and then we lived in cities, and now we're going to live on the internet. Even the fact that he keeps talking, oh, yeah. he doesn't want anyone, like, interrupting him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot, that's not looking good. Yeah, and they got drugs everywhere. Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah. Officer, what, what can I do for you? <laughs> That's not mine. Okay, we're gonna need identification. Uh-oh. Yep. You think the chicken story's bad. That's my inhaler. How old are you? I'm 21. Mine only makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have lied. Yep. Which uh, is what Eduardo was warning him about the whole time. Intense. It was just a party. Dude, you can't. Oh, that's the type of person. Of course. Well, it's cool. I have it under control. No, because you don't. no. Somebody, somebody sent the punk in there because it got in there. You believe me? It's it ruins their like a lot of their reputation. Yeah. Like, that's kind of bad, bro. That's terrible. Huh. What happened to Sean? He still owns seven percent of the company. I will never get over the fact that that man owns more than Wardo does. I'm not a bad guy. I know that. When there's emotional testimony, I assume 85% of it is exaggeration. <laughs> and the other 15? 
perjury. What a jury sees when they look at a defendant. Clothes, hair, speaking style, like a billion. Yeah, think about how this thing started. Four hours. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta play the game. Drunk and angry and stupid. And blogging. And blogging. Yeah. You're not an asshole, Mark. You're just trying so hard to be. This is really, that's really cool. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what it's got to be now. Yeah. Like I 20 years or 10 years later, 12 years later. I wonder if it's dropped some though, a little bit. Like it's probably spiked maybe a little uh, earlier. Possibly. Wasn't that a really good movie? That was, it was really cool. It was really cool. It was, it. Mark is a very, it's a very interesting lead protagonist. Like, yeah, right. Because, because if you think about it, like watching at the end of it, it's like, is, is he the protagonist? I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. Which is very interesting, right? Because Wardo's the antagonist. Now, yeah. is he the bad guy? I don't know. But I would argue that... Well, actually, maybe everybody kind of is. I feel like it's it was honestly just him versus himself in the world, almost. And it was like... Yeah. Well, it's almost like the way he affected everybody. Well... Yeah. Yeah, he... The thing is, um, his, his personality, his sort of... You know, I mean, his the way he lives his life, kind of, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, it it caused, you know, while it did, you know, allow him to maybe build up his skills and create this really, you know, breakthrough idea. Yeah. Um, it also caused a lot of, you know, issues. Mm. And while he was very successful, maybe you know, financially and things like that and popularity wise, it's kind of like a lot of his relationships ended up being fake. Right? Yeah. Because and now obviously I'm talking about the, the <laughs> I'm talking about movie Mark Zuckerberg. Like I don't <laughs> we're gonna get deleted <laughs> off of YouTube for saying bad things about Mark Zuckerberg. Oh I have uh, no, no, no. we're talking movie here, okay? We're we watch the <laughs> movie, we're talking movie. Yeah, and anyways, his I just feel that, you know, with um Sean and stuff and even like the girls and things like that. everything felt very like you know oh now that you're famous let me kind of suck up to you right and oh yes I do want to help you kind of thing but you know in the end it's all for self gain Sean right? Parker is so unlikable I swear dude. <laughs> he is like punchable like I would pay so much money for them to reshoot that scene with Eduardo would have him sock him in the freaking <laughs> face dude, oh my gosh no I that was that was uh, Triple Lake. Yes, he, he was a good, really he's well. a good actor, really dude. Well. As as far as like music people gone to acting, I think he's the only person I've seen pull it off like that. Like it's like, dang, dude, yeah. like, you're actually killing it. No, he did. He did really well. He played that sort of like a little bit manipulative and like humble, braggy yeah. entrepreneur. Like yeah, he that, just like, did it so well. Yeah, that sort of like it's so weird because like you know, he, yeah, he did he did it really well. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he's seen a lot of it, you know? Yeah. So he probably... Uh, what did you think of, of the directing? Because this is the first Fincher movie we've ever watched. And he's a very different director. But I think he's he's a master. It's... it's I I didn't notice anything, like, that completely stood out to me, if I'm going to be honest. You'll, it's you more know, subtle. It's more subtle. Yeah, it's hard because I'm not someone that, like, knows a lot about... Um, you know, camera shots and things like that. Uh, you know, just film stuff, right? And so, yeah, honestly, I, I didn't notice a whole lot. I feel like one of the things that I liked a lot was um, the sort of, like, he did take time. Yes. Right? He would take time for certain shots that normally you would be expecting, like, a cut or something, and then you'd be like, oh, yeah, it does this. But then he would kind of, like, leave it. And it's interesting because it get it kind of gives a sort of more 
I don't know, like a a real kind of feel to it. Yes. And not overly um Hollywoody, like or no. movie you know, you're you're not adding a whole bunch of different things to the uh the food or whatever, the steak. You're kinda of keeping it, you know. Well he does really he doesn't do like crazy long takes, but he does longer takes. Um and what I've seen, and I'm actually not an expert, which is why I'm looking forward to watching some of his movies. It, it he has a color to his movies I've heard people say and you'll notice it the more we watch it where it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's something about it that's really real and grounded and it, it's you're right it's like it's not Hollywood but it's yeah, still it's a movie like, and it's it's there's something about it that I think you know I've watched like video essays on it and stuff that it, it becomes signature to him yeah I also like the sort of um, the weird thing is, uh, I like when I think of director, I think of a lot of times just like camera shots and things like mm-hmm. that. But also, directing is like um, everything. The editing you know, calls all the, the stuff. So I like um, also his like the way he kind of cut back and forth between. Um, like it was very well done because it was it was seamlessly kind of put together, and it was like okay, this guy would say something, and then he would like lead into a sentence that the other person or that he said in the past or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I thought was really cool. Yeah. And it wasn't done. Um, well, I mean, it wasn't done confusingly. No, it wasn't. Although I did have a little bit of knowledge. I wasn't Um, confused when I first watched it. Okay. okay. No, I, I, I didn't, I think it's done pretty well, and like I said, I think it's cool that he reveals it, and it's really like you're just waiting for it then with Eduardo and stuff like that, and so he turns it from like just a boring because I think he plays the system and knows that people will know, yeah. And so yeah. instead of trying to be like, oh, the drama of this is, um, th- what happens? It is, but it's also like you're just seeing their relationship before and their relationship mm-hmm. after, and it's it's genius storytelling in that way. Yeah, because you slowly start to see it kind of, like, um, come together. Like, yes. uh, how it kind of got there. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. It is cool. His attention to... De- I mean, he's notorious for this. Like, I was th- like the, the thing where he smashed the laptop, like, they did, like, some, like, ridiculous number of takes mm-hmm. because the laptop just didn't smash right. Wow. Um, I mean, that's but, cool. But with that, right? So, like, this is stuff where I love... And it's stupid. It's silly stuff that nobody will ever notice in a movie. But if you ever watch in a movie, um, a lot of times when they cut to a reverse shot and the person's still talking, but you're seeing the back of their head. Yeah. 50% of the time, the greatest directors, freaking Scorsese is terrible at this, frankly. Like some of the greats. It's never, not only does it not line up with what they're saying, you can clearly see if you actually look at their mouth, Mm -hmm. it's saying something else. Mm-hmm. Or people will walk away just like little continuity errors. Mm-hmm. There is not a moment in this movie where I could spot a continuity error to the point where it would cut to a wide and I would see that person walking away in the same freaking way they were walking away in the wider shot. And that is insane. No, that is very attention to detail. Yes, that is very um like admirable because it's like, you know, you're not willing to give up on anything, kind of. No. It's, you're, it's your sort of thing and you want to make sure that it's perfect. I mean, obviously, there is an extent to how far you can go with that. And I mean, look, point, I'm not like, on set. I don't know what it's like. I'm just uh-huh. talking about the movie. It's like it's like when you see an animation or anything. It's oh, like yeah, me watching no, it's, that. I'm like, dude, even if you don't notice, it's like that is a master. And he's doing these things to perfection for the sake of perfection, not for anybody to notice. Because, heck, no one will notice that kind of stuff unless you're no, really looking for it. it. But it takes a – to even do it, um, some might be like, oh, you know, he's just – you know being difficult yeah difficult and like who cares if no one notices but honestly to do that to persevere in that sort of thing even when no one will notice except for maybe like the people who are paying attention to those details or who know a lot about that kind of stuff right it's a sort of um it shows a sort of like more complete love of something you know it's like you want to make sure that this thing is like rich like for the sake of not it's just not like, about what people okay, think you know i'm watch. throwing the freaking candy out yeah. here and you know the the general populace is gonna love it but no he's thinking like i'm gonna throw the candy out here and it's gonna look good and it's gonna be healthy for you and, and maybe think, the majority won't care but yeah. you know you still want to make sure that thing is like it's almost like he wants to make sure that he's proud of it he won't notice anything yeah you know that that's cool i, I really i do i really admire that that's, and i, I think that 
from the little I've seen of him is is signature to his directing where it's like it's not like Edgar Wright like as much mm. where it's like you watch two seconds of an Edgar Wright movie and I know it's an Edgar Wright movie yeah, it's yeah. a little more subtle but just like that shot that no one is ever going to notice when you really start getting into it it's like I can't tell you what it is. It's like when you just get a really good burger and it's like, dude, there's just tomato and cheese and a burger, but there's something about this. This is perfect. Mm. And it's not always this super crazy flashy, but whatever it is, even if it's more like subtle filmmaking, none of these crazy long takes, yeah, yeah. it is done to perfection. No, yeah. And you sure. feel that, right? Because the whole movie is just very smooth. Yes. And yeah. So that's just really cool. What did you think about the acting and stuff? I mean, acting was... I mean, of course, like, I, I, it was hard to like certain characters. But, but Jesse was, Eisenberg did such a good job. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it, to play those types of, like, roles is, is difficult, you know? I mean, it's like a – it's a very real sort of, like, not, not your typical generic character. It's a very real um, – you know, and the fact that he is a little bit, like – you know, a little bit unlikable, you know, and he is a little pretentious at times and he's, you know, annoying. It's like usually those characters aren't played seriously or the main spotlight, right? And then to be able to add nuance to that, like mm-hmm. that ending scene, the fact that I'm like, you know what? And, and also just the writing of that scene, like that meta moment where it's like, I don't know whether these things happen. Like it's totally talking to the audience where it's like, I, I, but you don't have to know. I could just say it like this and you'll assume we don't really know. I don't think you're a bad person. Yeah. But. But in the end. Right, maybe some the of these things did happen. We don't know where these things happen. And guess what? You are acting like this to the point where people assume this happened. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's really cool that they did that as opposed to just kind of tackle all that stuff onto him. It's really well written in that way. And then that just ending of it is so genius because you're like, you're not rooting from the whole movie. And then you're like. I mean, maybe I am. Like, we didn't see him do most of the stuff. Yeah. And I think that's really interesting to almost, it's almost like a meta moment at the very end of the movie being like, hey, but be careful. Uh Uh-huh. Because we're telling you all this, but it doesn't mean it happened. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was just a cool moment at the end with him just sitting and, like, refreshing the page on the, uh, it's just so well done. No, yeah, I thought, I thought uh, Jesse's, Jesse's acting of that it was it's it's really it's really well done. And I love Andrew Garfield in it. I mean, I I like him as an actor a lot. Yeah, I didn't expect him to be actually um in in that sort of role and that big of a role. Oh, he's like I the second. He's gonna be like a second a, character. I think he's like yeah. supporting the supporting role. Yeah, no, that's good. And he he you know he was really likable and the like his just his little like expressions of when he was like. It's almost like he didn't know he was like on the fence was like, you know, I want to help you out. It's like you can tell by his face was like, I want to help you out as a friend, but I also want some of that money. But I also don't know you're kind of being mean to me. But is it worth it? And is you it know? just you too? It's like this weird. Yeah. They had the like weird dynamic. Yeah. And so it's it's cool that he's able to kind of like, you know, I I remember back in the uh, the dorm room or whatever. He was like that. You know, when he was like, oh, you know, I need like, I forgot what, 200 more bucks to like yeah. pay for whatever. And then yeah. he was like, oh, yeah. And he's like, he's like, do we need it? He's like, I already did it, you know? <laughs> and that, that like sort of like, it's cool to see that sort of like hesitation and that sort of like, ah, should I, like, this is our, you know, relationship is this is bad, you know? But like, you know, the idea that he is presenting is like good and he's not a terrible person. Right, and you can all see that like he's just thinking about it. But it's, it's cool. still always that that I feel like Mark looked at didn't look at him as a friend, and you keep seeing that where he's like, like you, I was not like yes, we were bi- we were partners, we weren't businessmen, we were partners, and like yeah. what you did, like sure, I signed the documents, but we were partners, and like just the way that he's able to act that and the writing around that mm-hmm. in the scene, even like him dropping the line where he's like, you know, I I, I don't want to talk about it because you're my friend. And then even the response, but like, okay, but you did just talk about it. Like little stuff like that, like yeah. these little character idiosyncrasies. And I like that's what separates a decent movie from an amazing movie, mm-hmm. I think. I don't know. I also liked, um, I, obviously, we already talked about no, Triple X acting. It was really good. Uh, I also liked the uh, the Winklevoss. Yeah, the, they, the Winklevoss the, guy. Yeah. There's one guy, Army Hammer. I like really how good he, like, 
I don't know. He, like, I could, like, imagine people like that, like, easily, you know? <laughs> and it was cool. Like, yeah. I like the sort of, you know, complexity of, like, the situation. Now, I'm sure it was, you know, it was, I feel like I, it was, like, a little more complex than just that. But mm-hmm. I like that they sort of, like, added, you know, the fact that they weren't all, like, I don't know. It wasn't as simple, right? Yeah. They weren't all in the same exact camp thinking the same exact thing. You know, they were going through their stuff too, you yeah. know? And even just, right, showing that um, that loss that they took. Yeah. You know, it's, they didn't even say why. And they didn't even, like, show anything m- more than that. It was kind of just like, you know, they're all going through these these struggles and it comes to a point. Right, and it spent it's like, time on it. It spent yeah. three minutes showing that race and showing them lose, and then didn't say another word about mm-hmm. it. It's 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 one of those movies that just like makes you th- like. That's why I think it's like practically not even watching it again because you watch it again and it's a completely different experience. Because mm-hmm. really, there is so much more to movies like this than just the plot. I know that sounds like the most pretentious film thing in the world, but mm-hmm. I actually think it's true. No, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but uh, his acting was. Um was good i i really was convinced that dude he must have been like this actually well dude they felt like two different people too that's oh I yeah for sure 100 no, no. they were their own characters i mean how'd they even do it did they just like i don't know i mean i actually was looking at some of the shooting a lot of it wasn't crazy actually yeah i mean i was just wondering like did they i mean did they just take separate i feel like was well, a few of the times they in. had a double Okay, okay, okay. Like, because there yeah, was one shot where they had their face. friend, they were shooting over the shoulder, and they yeah, showed yeah. one of his faces and didn't show the other face. I've never seen I that think one. that. But then a lot of the times, I if you look at it, it's just, they're just not ever crossing over in a shot. So I literally think they just did yeah. that thing where they had it on a tripod and they split the shot. And they do it so that, not in an annoying way. Now, what I don't know how they did is the, the boat stuff. That's what throws me off. Because mm-hmm. that was a little crazy. Um, but... They did it to the point where they didn't draw attention to it. Like any other movie that does twins, they always try and draw attention to it or something. Like, oh, I meet a clone of myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. this movie didn't. And so I feel like even though the the shooting of it wasn't incredibly complex, I just, your eye wasn't drawn to it. Because I was looking yeah. at it. It was, it was very simple. Either one person in the frame, the other person isn't. Or they were did the classic thing where it's just on a tripod and you split it and composite it together. Yeah, no, I was, yeah, because I wasn't, um... Like, I was pay- trying to pay attention to it at first. Yeah. But, like, as you, you know, go through, obviously, like, the movie's, um, you know, fairly heavy and stuff. Yeah. So, like, you're trying to pay yeah. attention. But also the fact that they were, or he, he was <laughs> acting, like, you know, like, twins. But, you know, they're different personalities a little bit, you know? Completely different um, It felt very natural. And so I just started, it just left my mind, kind of. And I wasn't actually paying attention. I was wondering if there was any, like, shot of them, like, I was watching. the same... No, which, which threw and they me were, off. Like, moving. like it wasn't like they never no. interacted. I don't think very. Oh, much. Okay, well, which is really genius of it then. Because that's cool. It just blends into the story. No, I mean uh, credit to the actor also for just yeah. you know, being able to make it feel natural it enough off. to where I'm like, oh, that's the same dude. You know, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, so that was, that was a really good movie. Anyway, we're gonna be doing a lot more of these kind of classic movies. Maybe we're David Fincher, different stuff like that. Um, obviously, the full length reaction of this movie is going to be up on our Patreon, as well as next week's uh, classic movie reaction. Whatever movie you guys vote for on there, this movie here is also going to be up there for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, and yeah, um, thank you for joining us here. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited. This is like kind of like film study. I don't know. It excites me. It's fun. I'm not even going to pretend I'm a pro, but it's fun. And then the comments always add to it. So I'm really excited where we're going with this with our our Thursday movies. And yeah, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Um, hopefully you stick around, like, and subscribe. we got tons of stuff on this channel. we got a secondary anime channel, Avatar Last Airbender, tons of other stuff on there. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.